Welcome to Captain's Log. Number one zero one zero one zero one zero to the umpteenth degree. Now, before we get started on today's topic, it is of the utmost imperative importance that you click subscribe to my channel. It is the only way to continue sharing the diabolical preponderances from space from your galactic overlords. Now, today, I ask this most intriguing and improbable of questions. What is a forest hill? Is it a forest in a hill? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is it a hill in a forest? Is it a forest made of hills? Is it a hill made of forests? What is the answer? And furthermore, why are there so many hills? Hills, you know, mounds of dirt, uppy downy places. You can call them whatever you want, but they are everywhere. Gah! And they are so devious. On the one side, they will block your view. On the other side, they will also block your view. Just what are they trying to hide? You can't see around them and you definitely cannot see through them. They are infuriating and troublesome nasty little geographical anomalies. Ha 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 anomalies! They're anomalistic in their geographical preponderance and their absurdity at them. It's absurdity squared to the 50 trunth. In essence, they are miniature mountains, i.e. forest hills. A forest hill is, therefore, a miniature mountain. Indeed, like a pretend mountain. They're like adolescents trying to grow a beard as luscious as mine. Oh, they are attempts, silly attempts at grandeur, and they are also simultaneously failures. They don't even deserve a participation trophy. <laughs> you do not get a trophy for participating in the absurdity, but I will give all the adolescents a grand shout out for trying. Everybody starts somewhere, right? Whether it is with one strand of chin hair or whether it's one spoonful of dirt on the ground. A hill is a mini mountain, and a strand of hair is the beginning of a luscious jealousy-inducing beard. Oh, my beard is luscious. It's delicious in its luscious beauty. It's a beauty beard. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. And furthermore, and I'm going to say this once more, you may think I'm crazy. You may think I'm a genius, but the truth is, out here in space, I see everything. I see everything you dum-dums do on a daily basis. And if I see it, you best believe the Galactic Federation sees it too. So you best mind your P's and your Q's and most importantly, subscribe and like to this channel for further enlightenment. I have often looked at these hills through my super high powered telescope and I've wondered in my mind's eye, what are they? What created them? How did they come to be? I must tell you, on more than one occasion, I've asked myself, Self, are these mini mountains full of paper? The invisible paper that is transported to a super secret hiding place by the Great Scissor Conspiracy. We've talked about it before. Do your research. <sighs> Do your research and open your eyes wide. These perfectly round sculpted terraces that curve in a spherical shape at the summit remind me somewhat of my fantastic foe, the raccoon. Perhaps this is because they are an enigma. 
so often out of reach, yet begging to be explored and then consumed. You know, they are kind of like space asteroids cut in half. Oh, oh, yes, what if, what if some space genius took a super high powered laser and cut the asteroids in half and then sent them down to Earth to create pedestals for humans to stand on so they could appear more important and taller than other Earthlings. But first, that super space genius hollowed out the hills so that the invisible paper could be hidden within them. Kind of like a Cadbury Easter egg. I don't miss those Cadbury eggs one bit. They are super nasty. But also, they annihilated all the dinosaurs just so the humans could take over the planet and stand taller than all the dinosaur fossils. They used these pedestals to stand taller than the dinosaur fossils, repeated twice for emphasis. Oh my, it just makes sense. Humans are so obsessed with being tall. It's in their DNA, or mRNA, or MRZDino bidet. Or it may be in a bidet. I don't know. I am no epidemiologist. <laughs> but I could be because I'm so stinking smart. I just thought of this. What if the hills are not asteroids after all, but buried UFOs? Or off world vehicles? Or OWVs? What if aliens just started clamoring out of these hills? Like at first it was a little hole on the top of the hill. And you think it's just a hole from an oversized earthworm. But then a finger pops through the hole and starts wiggling around like it's trying to tell the direction that the wind is blowing. Then whichever human is currently standing on top of the hill, like that, <laughs> announcing his superiority over the other humans, he realizes it's about to get nuts. Spoiler alert, the Galactic Federation has been inside the mini mountains all along. They've been there the whole time and you didn't even know it. <laughs> oh, historians tell you that hills are a phenomena because of weird anomalies in the past. But the tricky thing about that supposed truth is none of you were here during those so-called weird anomalous events in the past. Therefore, there are no witnesses. There are no witnesses of the giants either. Just one account in the book you earthlings call the Bible. But also and additionally I must say, could one of the ancient giants have decided to use a spoon to dig out a bed at night to sleep in and then thusly that bed was so comfortable that he then quilted a blanket and made that hole his home. Is that how domicile started? Is that how domiciles were invented? An idea that perfect cannot be ignored. It makes sense. Because we all know the ancient giants had incredibly manly thick beards. Giants. Giants have enormous size and strength packed in a human form. They can roar like thunder, make the earth shake, and snack on grown men. I've done it again! I've solved the mystery of the miniature mountains. I demand we have a time travel investigation. And lastly, you should all be asking yourself, what happened to Andy Baziago? He could possibly head up the investigation that I'm talking about to really get to the bottom of the hills and the giants and the mountains and the mini versions of mountains. It is imperative we do that today or yesterday 
because time travel will let us do it yesterday too. Andy Baziago in 2016. It is a bold new era of truth. That's all I got. Until next time, Space Mountain Man saying good night and good riddance.